Hi guys, welcome to Flavian Hub. Today we'll be unboxing uh, this TP-Link Mesh Wi-Fi Extender. Uh, the model number is SC1200 uh, RE305. So uh, this uh, uh, Wi-Fi Extender is supports both. It supports both 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and uh, we have some specification here as you can see specification it is a wi-fi dead zone killer that's mean it eliminates weak signals areas with a full range wi-fi coverage so you can see yes we have a dual coverage it is a high speed mode it has high speed mode adaptive and we have a lot of specification here if you like you can pause and read so let us unbox and see what is inside the box. As you can see, this is how it is. And we have other specification here. And uh, I don't think we have anything else. So let us unbox and see what comes in the box. So this Wi-Fi, I bought it for around uh, 50... 52, 52 yeah 54 dollars and that is not uh, it's not that expensive you can still uh, get this is somehow cheap i can still say it's sex is cheap or it's expensive it's just right there in the middle so we have two quick installation guide here so this one is uh, different uh, languages as you can see then we have uh, english for for people speak english or if you can read english or so this one is english and the other one is different languages then we have our wi-fi extender here as you can see wow it's very nice very compact so we have two antennas as you can see then they cannot go past that one they cannot go past there then we have uh, we have on the bottom here we have um, ethernet port here and then we have reset switch here and then on top we have indication uh, led here as you can see indication led we have power we have signal we have 2.4 gigahertz bands that is then we have 5g and then we have wps button here as you can see and uh, then we have uh, uh, our plug here so the plug will depend on which country you are so you can it depends the country which you are in so it, you may get a us you know uh, that kind of thing but i, I got uh, i got the uk plug which is most common on the country where i am in so to access the to access the setup of this uh, router you will go to this address uh, uh as you can see i don't see if you can yes uh, tp link repeater.net so this is the can the the link which will open so that we can set up this uh, this uh, wi-fi extender also you can connect with an ethernet port here ethernet cable sorry you can connect with ethernet cable or you can connect with wi-fi so that you can you will be able to to set it up okay guys let me show you how you can you will be able to set this uh, this wi-fi repeater so that you'll be able to use it you can configure it using uh, maybe ethernet cable or you can configure it using uh, wi-fi you can use both lap laptop and uh, pc to do that but for me i will configure it using a uh, phone so to do that on your Wi-Fi networks, we have uh, this one TP link extender, the second uh, the second network here. So that is the name of the uh, extender. So go ahead and select it and connect. And after connecting, as you can see now, we don't have uh, a connection. So just go ahead and say yes, uh, okay. Then on the box, we have a QR code reader, a QR which you have to scan so that you can uh, you can download uh, the. Uh, you can download a tp link app which is this one is called it is uh, called a tether so after after downloading the app i have already downloaded it so i don't need to show you all those things so i have already downloaded the app 
So go ahead and select the app. Now the app will scan all their valuable TP link devices. And as you can see, it has already uh, recognized my 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 extender, which is RE305. And this app needs you to log in. So you have to log in for the first time. So you have to create an account with this app. So after recognizing my my device, uh, my device, just go ahead and select it. Now it is logging into device. Then you have to set a password. You have to create a system password for the for the extender. Just create any 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 password. Now after that, go next. Now after 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 that it will give you it will scan all the available networks wi-fi networks because it is a, a, a wi-fi extender it will give you all the available net, network within your area so select the the the, the wi-fi network which is yours your wi-fi networks which you want to extend so mine is the first one which is green city 001 so select that one and then uh, put your password your wi-fi password which you want to to extend so uh, just the same this is just the same password we are of your wi-fi so go ahead and go next now after going next it will it will ask you if you have your if your router if your router supports five five gigahertz uh, networks uh, it will really scan but if it doesn't uh, support it only supports 2.4 gigahertz uh, just keep and just keep here now this is what we have set and this is our network and uh, so go next now after that these are both these are two wi-fi networks which it supports so remember our extender supports both 2.4 and 5g uh, 5 gigahertz uh, wi-fi network so as you can see the first one is the 2.4 gigahertz as you can see and the second one one is the 5g networks so these names you can change as you can see we can change this uh, name or we can change the second one so if you want to reach to change this name so that it will appear differently instead of what, of what we have of, of of writing on the hand extension on your on your network on your valuable of your of you of your wi-fi you can still change them as for me i'll just go next then you to apply all the changes here as you can see now we have all the settings are being applied now and here you look, it will ask you if your extender is on the right uh, on the right location or you may want to move it you know some a little bit further if it is okay where you have located it just go next now these are all our setting our our 2g network name network name and our 5g uh, network name so if you are okay with those settings, just go say I'm connected. And if you can see on the top here, we have connected and we have network. And uh, here is the dashboard of our extender. Now, as you can see here on the first one, it is say online. This one, it is online. Then we have a client is how many devices you will see here, how many devices are connected. And then here we have our main network, which is 2G because I, I don't have 5 gigahertz network. Then we have another extended networks here. Then we have our, our many settings here, which you can check out and then, then networks. And if you want to, uh, if you want to restart your network, go to uh, here which is uh, go to more as you can see we have more here then go down here we have system here so go to system then as you can see we have reboot if you want to reboot and then we have factory default restore so you can go ahead and uh, factory so so let us factory so we can reset so that it will become as new and then uh, that's the end of my video if you are uh, if you have enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and uh, thank you so much guys for watching and I will catch you on my next one.